This is what's amazing about this Seneca Lake wine trail. It's pretty awesome. These are all the different wineries up and down just this lake of the Finger Lakes. And you can see how many different wineries. So this is pretty incredible and often really underrated. There's some great wine in this area and uh, lots of great vineyards. So next time you're in the area, definitely stop in to check out the Seneca Lake Wine Trail. Okay, here we are at the New York Finger Lakes Welcome Center. This is like brand new, it is gorgeous. And this is just a beautiful lake here uh, in the Finger Lakes. You got some wine over here, waterfalls here. And uh, Liche, what do you think of this? Well, I'm ready to do some wine tasting. Wine That's tasting? You just had wine ice cream. Come I on. I know. Did you ever Look try Look at that. Ice and wine Chardonnay. slushies. And now you want to have wine tasting? Yep. We're going to be. ice cream and now some good wine tasting. All right. Well, let's go in there. We're going to be looped. Hopefully, we'll make it to the end of the video. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. All right. Let's do it. All right. I found the guy that has all the answers. All right. So, am I here? I have a question. Yeah. Aren't you from How to Have Fun Outdoors? Oh, yes, you know. <laughs> hey, yeah, look at that. That's the guy. Oh, that's now he's going to be your buddy. I know how this works. Oh, thank you, Timo, for recognizing us. That's awesome. <laughs> Got another great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors that's right another wine tour this is new york wine country and as many of you know we did a video on the pennsylvania wine tours with the heritage wine cellar check out that video if you haven't seen it we had a lot of fun but today that's right we headed uh, west from syracuse into the finger lakes area into Geneva and wow what a great area that is and Seneca Lake this is actually the deepest and largest of the Finger Lakes it's actually known as the lake trout capital of the world lots of fishing lots of fun lots of great restaurants just a beautiful town but all over the Finger Lakes you've got tons of beautiful wineries and uh, of course check out our Watkins Glen video and um, Letchworth Park all nearby. Lots of fun to check those uh, parks out and waterfalls. And uh, you're gonna love this video. We're gonna spend some time at Fox Run and get to see some of their wines and taste some. So subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. And uh, next time you're in the area, definitely check out this uh, wine region in the Finger Lakes. And here you go from How to Have Fun Outdoors.
Here we are in the Samantha, right? Hi, welcome to Fox Run Vineyards, guys. All right. You ready for your wine tasting? Of course, I'm always ready. So, all what right. kind of wine do you have here? Tell us all about it. Well, we grow uh, 50 acres of estate grapes. Uh, we grow Lemberger, which is an Austrian, it's also an Austrian varietal called uh, also Ball Frankish. Wow. We have Riesling, Chardonnay, Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir. Uh, and all the way we make is out here on the floor, so you guys can try some today. That is awesome. And this is the manager here? Jessica. Right? Jessica. Say hi to everybody on how to have fun outdoors. All right. So you guys have uh, a real tough uh, taster here in Alice. She's the uh, from I Italia, I Italy. So she's the Italian wine connoisseur. So we'll see what happens today. So, all right, let's do it. Let's try some. Wonderful. Guess you follow me. All right, let's do it. Light style. We start everyone off with our welcome wine, which is our uh, 2019 uh, Kaiser Vineyard Chardonnay. We'll talk okay. about that in a bit. We then move on to choose your flight. So depending on the style of wine you guys usually like to drink, we'll have you do dry, sweet, red, or Riesling. Okay. And then you'll complete the tasting, choosing anything on the menu, or we've got a selection of wines on the back as well. So Samantha here, you head up the wine group and also the marketing, and then you grew up locally, right? So um, how far away from here? Uh, I grew up about 40 minutes from here on the other side of Cayuga Lake, which is the other okay. wine lake in the Finger So do you like Cayuga Lake better than Lake Seneca? Or, come on, give us the honest truth. I gotta say, I'm probably more of a fan of Seneca now. I spent a lot more time. Wow, uh-oh. So, yeah. Gonna get in trouble with all the kids you grew up with. <laughs> all right. All right, here we go. Chardonnay from Fox Run. So our plush and color Kaiser is named after our vineyard manager, John Kaiser. So okay. Kaiser Vineyard is actually that vineyard right behind you. You can see it out the window. Yep. It is the original planting here. It was the original vines planted in the early 80s. Uh, John actually came with the winery um, before the owner, Scott and Ruth, uh, purchased it in 1994. So uh, wow. he has been here since the beginning. Wow, that's uh, awesome. He's not like being photographed <laughs> or talked about. So you will, it's very elusive. You probably won't see him, but okay. um, he is around and uh, handles everything on our property. That's fantastic. Um, this Chardonnay is lightly oaked. So it does spend a few months in uh, oak barrels. Um, it is not overwhelmingly oaky though. You're going to get the subtle notes of, you know, um, oak, vanilla, um, and actually this one, and this is like one of my favorites, it actually has some marshmallow tones. Wow. So, yeah, a little bit cream and marshmallow. So it's time for yourself. All right, you know? go ahead. See what you think. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> well, it smells good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very fresh. Very nice. I like it. All right, very good. I got to try some now. Mm-hmm with our dry Riesling. All right. This is kind of famous in the area, correct? Yes. All the Riesling? A lot of people think Rieslings are sweet based on where they're being in other areas of the world. Uh, but uh, actually, we're very well known in the Finger Lakes for making uh, a really good dry Riesling. Uh, so this one is going to be very food friendly. Um, it's going to be uh, got some good acid to it, which makes it great. And you know, your Asian foods, your Thai foods, it's going to bring out uh, anything with spice in it is going to be really good. So definitely uh, food friendly. All right, there you have it. Nice box Riesling. Yeah, you're going to start with our what we call our Doyle family Chardonnay, and this is named after the Doyle family. Uh, that was a vineyard. Down toward the uh, other side of Seneca Lake that grow our grapes for us uh, because we make so much wine that we sometimes need to get grapes from us. <laughs> That's um, awesome. So named after them, this is an unoaked Chardonnay. So this actually spends most of its time in stainless steel. Um, wow. It's not going to have any of that oak flavor that you tasted in the last one. It's actually going to be very fruit forward, very crisp, vibrant, fresh. So let me know what you taste in these. All, All right. right. Like that one? It's approved. <laughs> What's well, there? Gypsy and Rocky playing with all the guests here at Fox. <laughs> wow. uh, so our reserve Riesling has one. Uh, it's one Boston class, triple gold at Dan Berger's Wine uh, International Wine Competition. It won uh, gold in the New York Wine Classic. It's also gotten 90 plus scores in 
wine enthusiasts, wine spirits, and wine spectators. So that's fantastic. Yeah, it's shown really well, and it's very well liked. We haven't actually made one of these in uh, 11 years. So this year, uh, wow. 2019, was a really, really good year for Riesling. Okay, fantastic. Congrats. Hey. It's going to be, uh, it's completely dry, gum dry. Um, but this spends a little time in oak. Yeah. Okay. Um, so unlike that dry reason you just taste with all that bold acidity, uh, this one's actually going to be a little more muted. It's going to be a little, like a slight cream to it because it does spend that little bit of time in oak. So um, this is definitely still food friendly Riesling, still delicious, but it's a slight flavor difference from what you just had. Wow. Semi-dry Riesling is one of our most one of our more popular wines. Um, it's going to be the um, the semi-dry style, so it's going to have a little more residual sugar to it, about two percent, and okay. uh, it's going to have a little fruit forwardness. Um, again, this one's going to be um, still acidic, but uh, the sweetness makes it really drinkable, especially in the summer. That's awesome. So. You got this down. You know these wines well, very uh, well, very good. Exactly what to taste. Um, you like, like that very one. Very good. It's it like also with very some mint in it. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Good. And you said this has won some awards too, then. It huh? has, yes. Um, I, yeah, I believe that. Wow. This one got silver in a recent Warm competition. Warm out. Man, yeah, look at this. Uh, and it's gotten over 90 points in, in all the uh, wine. You guys are like Michael <laughs> Phelps, man. There's all <laughs> kinds of medals back there. Look at that. We've been around a long time. Our winemaker's been with us 25 years. Wow. So, um, and that's, I wouldn't say it's rare, but um, it's special. Yeah, that's a winemaker with us that long. So that our is wines are consistent. Fantastic. Yeah. Alice, are you ready for more? Obviously. I'm Italian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so your next one is going to be our Lake Dana Riesling. Okay. And this is part of our geology series. Uh, he has a sister wine called Hanging Delta. And these come in at about 3% residual sugar. So they are going to be one of the sweetest Rieslings that we make here. Wow. Um, lake Dana is named after ancient Lake Dana. And Lake Dana is actually the very top of our vineyard. And that is where the shore of Seneca Lake, which you guys saw, have yeah. coming in. That is where it used, it used to, be. to be. Yeah, so all of this used to be underwater back in the Ice Age. Like wow. Back in the day. And so um, it's believed that that has an impact you know, on our glacial soils that we have here. Just like such a good wine growing region. Um, wow. Is the soils. So, Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense though. All the sediment at the bottom of the lake, given all mm -hmm. that nice. That's amazing. Yeah. So um, the sister one of this is Hanging Delta. And our Hanging Delta vineyard is actually down on the other side of the road by the lake. Okay. And it's believed that that soil is very different from the top, at the top of the vineyard. Um, this is going to be well drained, whereas down at the bottom of the vineyard, it's going to be a, you know, just a different soil composition. And so okay. when you taste the two, you taste very subtle differences. Yeah. Um, some people prefer one or the other. It's all a matter of practice. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Then what do you got here? You are going to have our Lumberger. Uh, Lumberger and Cab Franc are the two kind of, the, the red Riesling grapes that the lakes. They grow very well here because uh, our climate is somewhat similar to that where this Lumberger is made. Um, we grow acres and acres of it, so it just loves it here in the climate of the finger lungs. So this is going to be um, delicious, totally dry red. Um, some peppers and um, yeah, I don't want to tell you what to taste. That's our philosophy. We don't like to tell you what you're tasting. We like to tell you to tell us. Okay. Because when you, sometimes you tell someone, they get this notion of what it's supposed to taste yeah, like, yeah. and that's all they taste. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you got quite a variety of wines then, huh? Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. We do, yeah. Look at you even got the trophies over there, not just the medals. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Look at this. We won the um, Governor's Cup, which is the New York State wine competition, um, the Jefferson Cup. So when wow. you've been around a long time, you tend to accumulate these things. Yeah, I mean, you even got how to have fun outdoors here in here. Exactly. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Aliche. Let's try it out. The winery wisely. <laughs> what do you think of that? Wow. <laughs> you like that one? Wow. Yeah, let it go. So we'll do that one last. All right. Okay. So All what right. do we got? 
So she has selected our dry rosé. Okay. This is a delicious blend oh. of burger, which you just sampled, this is and you... Pinot Noir. All right. Look at that, 60 huh? split. Very nice. I love the color. It's yes. not the usual rosé. It's more reddish. Yeah, and it gets its colors. It spends, um, these are red wine grapes. Okay. They spend just a few hours on uh, their skins and then they are filtered the skins out and it's just enough time to get that pink color without any more depth. Wow. Color. So, Very yeah. good. All right, let's try it. Okay. This reserve Riesling. We this is the reserve, huh? This yes. is the big dog here? It is. 2019 reserve Riesling. Our first Riesling uh, since 2011. So it's been a long time coming. Okay. And it's produced only in years that Riesling crop is just superb. Uh, 2019 was a really, really good growing year in the Finger Lakes. And okay. so our winemaker just was tasting tanks one day and just found this one and said, this is a reserve. Um, just the, the flavor and um, everything about it is just unique and uh, cut above the rest. So, All right, try. let's try them out. You ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do it. All right, now remember, we have the Class B, so you can't buy too much wine on the way out of here, all right? <laughs> so thanks so much, Samantha. Great job. Thanks, great, guys. Yeah, I mean, great wines. Really nice. Thank you. Oh, great so presentation. You, uh, stopped in. Thank you so much for filming here. Thank you so much for stopping in and tasting our wine. We hope you'll all be back. All right, thank you. Yeah, we will. I love all right, you. and yeah. until then, have what do you say? Fun. Outdoors. Lizard time. Yeah, more. You ready to have some lunch? Time. Yep. And sit back and relax. The little guys are out, dog friendly here at Fox Run. And we're going to go walk around the vineyards. It's beautiful here.